everybody, welcome back to RC on Track. We have a, uh, it's called the Desert Truck. It's basically a, um, a WL Toys brand, even though it's, I mean not WL Toys, uh, Besgar brand. Um, but it's got a different brand name on it. You can get this on Amazon, etc., etc. How much? I don't know because I got discount. Oh, how much was the discount though? I think it was like, I think I got it for like 60 bucks. Hmm. So this car is completely upgradable. Um, it comes with a LiPo battery. We got this battery in here because the LiPos are charging. It's got a 550 in it, full size servo, ESC. You can totally upgrade this if you move the ESC up here to the top, to this top rail. Um, you could put a longer battery in it. You could put a two cell 7.4. Uh, 50, 22, 2200 milliamp battery in it and it will rip guaranteed we're going to do that just uh, stay tuned with us and you'll get to see that go down all right so enough chit chat we're going to take it for a run hope you guys enjoy this video and we're going to my son i give this to my son he's going to end up painting all of this is getting painted really good artist and um, so he's going to paint it his fashion which is pretty cool All right, Crim's gonna take it for take it for a rip with you guys. Yeah, that cleared the camera, so it's, it's not the fastest RC car, but it is pretty durable. The jump's two feet, launching the car about six feet in the air, Oops. and it's landing flat on the ground. So, pretty durable car. You gotta hit the ramp here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the camera so we can get. What the heck? I was doing these perfect <laughs> Woohoo! That's close to your I don't know why you're trying to hit me with it. You're the one right there where it's landing. If you guys have watched any of our run videos, you know it's that Kren likes hitting me with RC cars. Oh, one of them we weren't recording and it was extremely fast. It was with my WL Toys. Yeah, we jumped the WL Toys off this ramp and we ended up breaking uh a little plastic piece that holds the pin for the but rear A-arm off. Bit, right? Yeah, well, for you it's simple because I do the work. Mm -hmm. We got to machine out a little piece because you can't buy it. And we'll do a video on that piece. So you guys know what to do with your WL Toys car when you break the same piece. Nice. Get in that dirt right there and do a donut or two. It really likes doing donuts right here in this stuff. Yeah. Or it does for me. I'm gonna do don't hit the don't hit the camera. I'm gonna set it down here so you can do some donuts in front of it.
What's your throttle control? Let me show you. What? Come on. It's the battery. Oh dang it. <laughs> So that's how you hit the camera. Hold that real quick. Let me try getting a donut. For some reason. Why aren't you doing donuts? There it goes. Okay, I'm not standing back here anymore with all the dust. Right. So this there the there it is, guys. Should we do the donuts in the driveway with all the gravel? Eh. We're at five minutes right now on the video. So what do you want to do? Let's go out front. And go all right, take it over there. I think there's a thick stuff in it. I can carry it. Okay, I got it out. You know, if you carry it, you get more battery time. All right, you guys, we're going to take it out to the driveway and hit up some more donuts in the gravel. It's a lot of dirt inside. It sounds like a complaint. So real quick, we broke the WL Toys rear A-arm right here. You see the pin? Now you see that little plastic tab right there? This is on the Hannibal, and I'm pretty sure it's on a couple of their other cars. This little plastic tab right here, I'm going to machine one out with my drill press and a file. Out of a piece of... Uh, out of a piece of, um, what is that stuff called? Uh, Plastic? No, it's not aluminum either. It's, um, it's some kind of alloy. So yes, I guess it is aluminum alloy with galvan galvanizing it or something. So we were doing drops right there, as you can see earlier. Yeah, there's a bald spot right here where this car cleaned it out. Here, once again, don't hit the camera, right? I'll try not to. There you go. Ooh, that's close. Here, um, move it back just a little bit. Put it back here on the concrete, then. I'm just trying to keep it in the visuals so you can see it doing its thing. 